So right there is a wellhead. The road is paved and it goes down to the right. It looks like 301. Jets off to the left here. It does kind of get steep right there, but it's a wraparound drive. There's about parking for three cars right up here. If I parked a little closer. And then there's, uh, I'd say like another boat parking space right here for a trailer. Here's where that road comes down to. And then you got two more spaces right here. So this is back entryway, and then right here is a survey marker. So to kind of get an idea. This is the beautiful deck. Absolutely stunning. Obviously, we have the water there, the boathouse, all the stairs down there, as well as a trolley system. Mm -hmm. I think something nice though to point out is that it's really, they've done a good job with all the landscaping, that you don't have like just all these crazy wild trees. That way it's nice and calm, and, mm -hmm. and that winter you're really gonna have just such a Stunning, stunning view. It's really hard to see on the on the camera. Yeah, because oh. that's all water out there. Yeah. You yeah. Can see better down once we get to the boathouse. Let's see what the view is that you have. So nice big deck up here, and there's oh there's, there's also a back deck. Yep, we were there. Okay. And then the lower. And then there's one an upper here. Yep. A lower. There's actually two lowers technically. But look at that. Look at that chandelier. It's so unique. Mm-hmm. I didn't find the light switch for it. Yeah, I can turn it off. There we go. So again you got the big windows looking out at the water view there in your boathouse. So it's absolutely stunning. Big huge stone fireplace right here in the main main like I guess I call this almost a great room. Yeah. Oh, did you show them the ceilings? Yeah. The ceilings oh. are really high. They're stunning. They're like this beam and um kind of makes you kind of feel like a cabin, but not crazy. The kitchen ceiling is amazing. Because it's like a flat one. Beautiful kitchen. With matching fire, uh, fridge. Yep. Everything's custom. Looks like. Looks like. And it looks like we're dealing with wood. a wood fireplace. Yep. And on the outside, it has a double sided. So. That's the one up there. Here's another one. This is a screened in deck. So you don't have to deal with the buggies. And another big fireplace. And again, the view. <laughs> yep. You would probably, I would say, what, you know, mid-October, you'd start having that view open up? Yeah, once our, once the leaves fall, it's going to be it's be quite the view. And again, it is all screened in up here. Okay, we'll go upstairs. Okay. okay. But the room just feels massive with those high ceilings. It's awesome. 
all these are like all pantry kind of cabinets mm -hmm. and gas stove. Yeah. And so nice. Nice granite. top. Okay, so the stairs are hidden. Oh, this is the downstairs. Oopsie. Stairs are <laughs> hidden behind the kitchen, which is pretty cool. I like little pockets. <laughs> And it's a live. It's a wide staircase too, Caleb. Yeah. It's not like narrow. Again, windows all around. So all much around. natural light. In a one bedroom situation, there isn't, um, per se, a closet up here. But you get this to look over. So you could either have another bedroom up here or an office because mm -hmm. these doors would close. Right. Which is nice. I know we've talked about in other places that they have these lofts, but they don't feel private. You have this door, so it's going to feel private and that the staircase is hidden mm -hmm. in such a way you're not going to feel like people on your hair. Then we go to, we have two bedrooms on this floor and two bathrooms. Yep. Three bathrooms, actually, I think. Oh, yeah, because there's a half. So you got the half right here. Well, and again, the ceilings are really tall. It's, yeah, really tall. I would say this is probably the primary, the one that you're going into now. Yeah. Also, there's your wash and dryer right here. So it's on that main floor. And that's your bedroom. You have, this is a full walk-in closet. Like yeah. fully walk-in. I'll let you know. Plus the amla. Yep. And you have like these not skylights, skylights. Yeah. So you get the feeling and the benefit of a skylight without having the leaks of a skylight. <laughs> right. And then you got your bathroom. Oh, wow. It's all tiled in? Yeah. Shower too? Yeah. Oh, nice. Double sink. And of course, your shower. Nice. You got a the, the jet tub and yep. jacuzzi tub and a tile in the shower. Nice. Nice, nice. And almost all the lights here are dimmers. Mm hmm. And just walking down this hallway, uh, you can see how tall the ceilings are. It's definitely not the standard. They're probably about 10 feet at the, at the corner, maybe even 11. So into the second bedroom, here we have really tall ceilings. So these ceilings are closer to 15, but probably more like 13. But with how the beams run, it makes it feel really tall. Huge. And again, lots of natural light. Those are some really unique light fixtures. Mm-hmm. Pull in, pull out. Yeah, but you have that natural light that just runs. And the view of that, you know, Towards the, lake. towards the lake again this though you having can... more of that fall and winter view i mean you can see the lake itself it's just not the big lake views right you do see the water yep but it's not like those big bigger lake views and the now next... this one doesn't have a walk-in closet yeah but you do have a bath and a tub Okay, so this is a tub, but with a pull-out shower. See how the shower yeah, is like a... Yeah, right. It's not mounted. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Okay. So it doesn't have a light, but... I don't want that light switch too much. There we go. So, it's just a Some double door. Well, if it was... Oh, yeah. Okay. 
This is the door to the back porch that we were at. And then we walk out to the great room again. So now we'll go ahead and head downstairs and see the bedrooms and there's a game room and the two other decks down there. Easy, easy stairs and very tall ceilings. Sink, bathroom, shower. And again, they did the beautiful work on here. It almost feels like a middle built. Yeah. I wonder who built it. There's some flowers we have. Yeah. This here is just, could be an owner's closet, but you also have the access to the electrical box, so. They're all really well-sized rooms. Yeah. They're very, very well-sized rooms. And again, this, a lot of windows. I think this has a full in it. You could easily put a clean in it. Yeah. And it, you're not you're not sore for space. No. Like at all. And again, like pull open closets. Actually, this is bigger than upstairs. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then this here goes directly out to the another screened-in porch. Careful. Furniture. <laughs> this one does not have a fireplace. So it does have the fireplace running through it, but you don't get it. Which is interesting. Why would they run it down? Yeah. And again, we're looking towards the lake right there. So the boathouse is right there, and then the big water view is right up there. So this is built feel we're not even on the foundation level. Look yeah, because it's even a lot lower. Yeah. So they so. built it up so probably you get a better view, no? That's for sure. That door may be unlocked, but you know what? Show them the other bedroom. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> Scratch that idea. <laughs> we'll see the other door will be at the game room. So you don't have to go through the bedroom every time. So this here is the the fourth bedroom of the house and you've got like two twins in there and then we come around this corner a washing station and then you got your shower and your bath and this is a pocket door so keeping the space Okay, so now we're gonna head over to the Wait, game room. Did you show the room. thingy? Oh, no, I did not. I don't know where the light switch is. Oh, here. There, there we, we go. go. They have like this little extra closet. Little closety. Oh, hmm. I never like opening these things. I don't even see what's in it. Oh, wow. And right nice. there's your hot water heater and access to the crawl. Easily put a door on that. Mm-hmm. So here's the game room. Foosball, Monopoly. They got a lot of cool stuff. And they oh, these are all huge windows. Um, you got a little game room. And then again, this is the, if you want to say, the main access to the screened-in porch. So the, the one bedroom has the access over here, and then the game room is the main access. And one really cool feature about this is right here, we have a little bitty kitchen. That is so cool. This is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> a cooktop, prep station, sink, a little refrigerator, a little bitty stove. I wonder if this would convey or not. Yeah. But it's just so adorable how they built it in. It's like a little kitchenette, you know? Mm-hmm. In case 
Caleb, just move aside the curtain so they can okay. see what that was like. So this here is to give you an idea. You feel like you're in the, the nature. Right. So some of the trees have grown up. So the little saplings. And then this is the, I think this would be considered the fourth live on deck, yep. but it's actually technically the fifth because of the back entryway. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, they've got a cute port swing. Sit out nice. here and enjoy the evening times. Right now, it's beautiful weather. So this section right here is going to be protected from the rain. And then if we look up, you can see through to the sunlight. This is more like crawl spacey, but they have like outdoor storage. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're not, here you wouldn't feel here it. Here you're not going to feel it. Here you would. Right. And then they got the massive rock pillars. Supporting. Okay, let's do another video to go down. Okay.